Hello, my name is Christian. I am application engineer in Typhoon Hill. Today I will demonstrate you how to use PHIL interface components to integrate power amplifier device with a schematic editor model. We'll open the model. PHIL interface components can be found in specially dedicated PHIL library. Here we have four components, two of them are single phase where other two are three phase. There are two types of PHIL interface components, voltage source type, which is used with amplifiers operating in voltage control mode, such as grid emulators, and current source type, which is used with amplifiers operating in current control mode, for example, load emulators. In our model, we'll be using three-phase PHIL interface components. In the first part of the model, we are simulating the grid. Here, we have ready-to-use generic component of the grid, which can be found in microgrid library. Grid is connected to PHIL three-phase voltage source interface using this contactor, where in the between we have power meter to perform the measurements. The three-phase voltage source interface is implemented using externally controlled current sources with snubber resistors. Here we have voltage measurements, where signals from these voltage measurements we will be providing to external power amplifier device through Hill analog outputs. Using this component, we will take measured currents from the external device and introduce them into the part of the model with the grid. When we navigate into the properties of P Hill. 3 phase voltage source interface. Under the tab current inputs, we can set Hill analog pins from which we want to control externally controlled current sources, one for each phase. For each analog input signal, we can set signal gain and signal offset. In order to scale analog input signals into the actual current values. If selected, dynamic gain and offset settings we will be able to adjust parameters for this interface directly through the SCADA panel during the simulation runtime. Then, when we navigate in the property section input filtering, we can enable bandwidth limit and set required cutoff frequency to eliminate high frequency noise on analog input signals. We will confirm the changes. Second part of the model consists of generic component of battery energy storage system, which can be found also in microgrid library under the distributed energy resources. The battery component is connected to three-phase current source interface through this contactor and in the between we have power meter to perform the measurements. The three-phase current source interface is implemented using externally controlled voltage sources with snubber resistors. Signals from these three current measurements we are, we are providing to the external power amplifier device through the Hill analog outputs. Using this component we will take measured phase voltages from external device and introduce them into the part of the model with battery energy storage. When we navigate in the component property, in the voltage inputs, we can select analog inputs 
from which we want to control externally controlled voltage sources. One for each phase. The other parameters are set in the same way as we described for the first PHIL interface component. Next, we will open HIL SCADA environment to configure HIL analog output signals. When we open the SCADA panel, in order to configure analog outputs, we will navigate to the model settings and select HIL outputs. In this window, we can configure HIL analog outputs and assign signals from the simulation. Now for the battery part of the model, we will need to assign current measurements to the HIL analog outputs, which will further be connected to the external device. From signal list, we will select current measurement for phase A. And beside, we will set the scaling. We will repeat process for the other two signals. Then we will need to select signals from the grid part of the model. From here we will take three phase voltage measurements and assign them to the corresponding hill analog outputs which will further be connected to the external device. From the signal list we will select voltage for phase A. And set scaling. We'll repeat the process for the other two phases. With this, we have configured all necessary HIL analog outputs. Now we can close the window. In the simulation, the grid part of the model and the battery part of the model will exchange data through HIL input-output interface. Next, we'll start the simulation. Here, we have grid side measurements Phase voltage is around 230 volts for the situation when the battery is turned off. Next, we will navigate in the battery interface and turn on the battery. Now, the battery supports our grid and we can see that the voltages on the grid side have increased. Next, we will navigate in the battery interface and change reactive power reference for the battery. We can observe that the current on the grid side and on the battery side are the same, while in the grid voltage measurements we have slight decrease in value.